I'm Mark Silver. We're in Yosemite with Michael Adams. Okay, okay. tell us about Half Dome picture in 1927. The Half Dome was uh, Ansel's first uh, sort of pre-visualized image when he really believed and understood that he could get what he uh, could get a result and knew that before he actually took the picture. He and my mother and some other friends climbed up on this shoulder of Half Dome between Grizzly Peak and the shoulder and up to where you can see the jagged uh, ridge line just yeah. this side of the dome called the diving board and uh, he took uh, his glass plate for a six and a half by eight and a half inch um, camera and plates and on the next to last glass plate he used the yellow filter and realized that he wasn't going to get the final result that he really wanted so he changed to a red filter that was a big moment. And it was a major decision, and he, but he understood what he was doing. And he took that uh, picture that he entitled Half Dome, a monolith, the face of Half Dome, from that site. And when he went back and developed the uh, glass plate, he realized that he knew what he wanted and he got what he wanted. And uh, he said that that was sort of the beginning of his uh, change of a career from music to photography because he felt he could do something with that, that was a camera. big moment in photography because yeah. the, as you said he visualized it and then he used instead of the yellow the red filter absolutely when he understood the uh, the science behind the the photography he, he knew exactly what he wanted to get and he knew how to get it he knew the right combination of filters and uh, exposures and he ultimately went on and developed his own system which gave him options uh, from the instance of taking the picture to knowing what the result was going to be and how it should be printed, and uh, this was a, a major step forward. So if we take the, you know, sort of the top five things that he mentions over and over in his books, visualization has to be top of the list. So let's look at what he said about it. And as we talk now in photography, we speak of the external event, which is We'll call it scenery. It's everything that happens outside and time and space and people go zap, zap, snap and recording things for their own memory in the future. And contrasting with that in the creative work is the internal event, the thing that happens inside your mind when you, when you see the photograph. And as Stieglitz had said that when someone asked him about creative photography, what is creative photograph? He said, I merely go out into the world. I want to make a photograph. I, I come across something that excites me. I see the picture in my mind's eye, and I make the photograph. And then I give it to you as the equivalent of what I saw and felt. The whole key lies very specifically in seeing into the mind's eye, which we call visualization. And the picture has to be there clearly and decisively. If you have enough craft, if you've done your homework and your practice, you can then make the photograph that you desire. A lot of people wonder what visualization means. It's an awfully long word. But uh, what you have to learn is that the lens sees, the camera sees, very differently from the eye. And you have to learn, train yourself, to see as the camera sees. In other words, that you see the final picture in your mind's eye. And when you have that, then you go through a series of uh, steps to place the camera and uh, the point of view and the lens, proper selection of the lens, depth of field, all of that. and. Uh, also considering the, the values, the exposure and development of the negative. And with a lot of practice, all of this becomes automatic. So you might very readily think that uh, you never get a picture done because you had to do so much thinking about it, but actually it is a very quick and instinctive process. Well, listen, it's certainly been great talking to you, well, Michael. I can't thank you a, enough for bringing us up here. It's been a pleasure, and you've come at a perfect time, and we you're have. seeing Yosemite at its best. Thank you, Michael. You're most welcome. I really hope you enjoyed my talk with Michael and the films from Ansel. Please take to heart his advice on visualization and practice the points he gave you to make them instinctive. 
We're going to be bringing you more videos from him and many other great photographers like Bob Holmes, so be sure to subscribe to our channel. We would also love your support with fan funding to help us make these videos available for you and the community. Just click on the link here. Your donations to AYP will really make a difference. And please share, comment, and like. We love to hear from you. Until next time, get out and capture your own images of life. We'll see you soon.